It's time that we open it up to you guys, and uh, if you have, you've got probably the best questions of all. Um, here we go. Rich and I are winging it up here, so let's uh, let's sort of open it up to you for questions. Hi, I'm Christy. I'm a big fan. Love the show. Love you guys. Thank you, Um, my question is for Jensen. I just wanted to know what you like most and what you dislike most about playing Demon and Dean. Mm. Um. I think, uh, you know, the, the most uh, gratifying thing for me playing, uh, was, was the, the, the lack, he, he didn't care, he, didn't, he like, didn't have a care in the world and I enjoyed playing that aspect of it. Uh, the tough part was that it changes the relationship on screen with all the other uh, characters that I've essentially had a relationship with for, you know, well, it would have been nine years. So having to, um, to, to build an entirely different relationship with the characters. What's happening right now? <laughs> They're on fire. I don't know. I think it's I'm not sure, Jensen, but I think you're supposed to sing Freebird. <laughs> Can we get a little bog head up in here? Always keep fighting. Always keep fighting. No, 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 it's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, next question, you're ready. Um, First you give, then you take away. <laughs> uh, so my question is, considering that women have too often been used to further the plot of male characters, why was the decision made to kill Charlie and dump her in a bathtub? beloved character, beloved in the show. When we're in the writer's room, uh, we have to go where the story takes us. And we try and do it without... Um, Mark Shepard doesn't cut off. Suddenly he's dead silent. He's like, Jeremy Andrew, the fall is yours. Yeah, I don't have a, 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 a great answer beyond we have favorite characters throughout the years who come on the show, and if we're doing our job right, people fall in love with characters, and on the show where pretty much everybody dies at one point or another, um, it's one of those horrible, sad, yet dramatic things that we do on the show. Um, that's probably the best answer I hey, have Jeremy, right Jeremy, now. correct me if I'm wrong, she was just supposed to be a one-off anyway, correct? Well, that happens all the time. And, yeah, and, but she was, it, it was so well received and the character worked so well. I love her so much. That, yeah, that I we mean, brought her back for multiple episodes, so... <laughs> we got her more than 
than we originally had planned anyway, and we should be, should be thankful for the time that we got to spend with him. <laughs> Yeah, you watch Game of Thrones and like your favorite characters keep getting killed off and almost makes you want to keep watching because you're like, oh, it keeps you on the edge of your seat a little bit. What's Game of Thrones? It's another it's a show on the uh, box office network. <laughs> You'll know when they do the supernatural spoof of it. You have to dress up like John Snow. Have you guys ever personally like pitched ideas where you think your characters should be going to the writers, or do you leave it up to them? All the time. All the time. Hawaii. Filed under actor. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we, um, we. I think we tried that once, and they went the opposite direction. So we're like, well, not gonna do that. I think I, I, I for my part, really enjoy my place as an actor. You know, and I, and all that comes with it. I like. I'm sort of acting well by default. You know, Sam doesn't know what's happening next week, and nor does Jared. I, I, I'm afraid. I'm not afraid. I enjoy my place as an actor. I, I like to be prepared for what Sam needs to do and be a part of, but I'm, I'm not the kind of person or actor that wants to, to inject some sort of control or direction. Once I get my script, I have my opinions, obviously, and if there's a line, I, I want to say will not instead of won't, or whatever, you know, we, we know our characters well enough that there, there's a, a great deal of mutual trust, but I certainly wouldn't try to um, guide my character's directions. Uh, if I did, we'd been canceled a long time ago, so. <laughs> I wanted leather and a motorcycle. So. <laughs> And lighting? Hi. Hi. And my question is, when you were kids, was there any monsters that you were scared of that you fought on the show? Uh, yeah, my, my... It's nice to see you again. I didn't see you in your outfit yesterday, but it's nice to see you again. Um, I was really scared of Bloody Mary, so when we did that episode of season one, and Hookman, Bloody Mary and Hookman were definitely things I was scared of. Really? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I, I think as a kid it was more, um, I was, I was really afraid of the thunder and lightning storms that we had in Texas, which could be, and rattle the house. And that was really. I, I, <laughs> yeah, because it's real. <laughs> I'm watching the scene from the show right now. This is real. Yeah, yeah. So we haven't really had to, to, you know, deal with lightning and thunderstorms uh, on, on the show. But a, you know, what, I think I just saw. When I told him it was, it was in my closet. He gave me a 45. <laughs> You know what's out there. <laughs> I, when I was uh, when I was four, my um, my family decided that they would dress my uncle up as Santa Claus and take a picture of him with a sack of toys next to my bed uh, <laughs> while I was sleeping and to authenticate the document, like that Santa Claus was really here. And I saw that picture, and it really freaked me. There's this creep in my bedroom lurking around. So I found the whole concept of Santa Claus absolutely terrifying. What's, what's weird is it was April. And I said, <laughs> so I'm, I'm pitching that as a concept right now, Jeremy. Um, maybe we could deal with the, the bane that is Santa Claus. I'm still waiting for the Cybermen. Cybermen. Oh, Cyber. When I was a kid, 
Uh, then coming up through the, the drains of St. Paul's and coming out to the street, it was the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Now, uh, emotionless, faceless, Terminator. Yeah, better. Yeah. So, my question is for everybody up there. What was your favorite scene to be a part of or film this season? This season meaning last season? <laughs> season two. <laughs> uh, favorite episode, favorite scene. I'll go. Uh, I, I would say the fight scene with Kane. Yeah. <laughs> um, for me, uh, we're, as these guys know, working with them is, is, is a delight, and you can very easily become an audience member while working with them and, forget, and simply forget your lines. Um, and, uh, and it was a good thing I didn't have to say a whole lot. I just kind of threw myself around the barn. And, um, but I, I was certainly more banged up after that, that scene, more, had more cuts and bruises and scrapes and stuff than I normally do. But, um, but that's, those are the kind of was the kind of markings that I wear with pride. Um, it was a hard-fought day that day, and uh, and it was just a really really fun scene to work with uh, with them. So that that's one of the, one that stands out for me. I think for me, I, I mean maybe it's because it's the most recent. But I really loved the finale. I loved the showdown. I loved. I mean, it's always fun to go fight scene, especially with Jensen, because we know each other so well through all these years. But there was so much heart in the dialogue that was written that it really it struck a chord with me. So I really enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed that. I liked um, for Cass uh, or Jimmy actually. I liked closing out Jimmy's uh, storyline and uh, getting, to see, getting to see him in heaven, and and that was I think kind of cathartic for for me. Um, it was also challenging because I had to play a different character than Castiel, which I haven't done in almost a decade. And I had to dust off my chops, and they were dusty. Were there chops? I had fun. I had uh, got a lot of mummy issues this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guess it was painful. I'd finish an episode, I'd have to call my mom up and go, whenever, whenever it was on TV, I'd go, look, I'm really sorry, I don't feel that way about you. <laughs> it was brilliant, it was a lot of fun, it was a different ex exploration for the character, we've gone a, a long way, and Ruth is fantastic in the role. And, uh, as they say, it never goes well with witches. So, uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun there. And I did love, I love the guy that played Gerald. Yeah. Made me laugh so hard. The sweetest guy ever. Nobody cares, Gerald. Nobody cares. <laughs> He's just like so sweet. He's a great guy. Glad a lot of fun. Andrew, you got a favorite? Um, yeah, I really I had the privilege uh, to write a lot for Demon Dean in the second episode of the season. That was really fun to write and go see how you know Jensen kind of embraced it and embraced his own inner psychotic, which comes out mostly behind the scenes. <laughs> Jeremy? Jeremy. Uh, I was a really big fan of the, uh, 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 I mean, amongst everything, I really uh, loved the, uh, the Crowley Rowena dynamic. Uh, it was a fun direction for the show to go, and, and we really had a lot of fun devoting a lot of time to that. It was fun. You. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, my name's Manda, and new fan, and I started watching in April. Yeah. Um, I just watched a season a week and Do you think that causes lasting damage? <laughs> yes! So my question is, from season 10, what was your favorite episode? From season 10? From season 10. What was your favorite episode? <laughs> no? Uh, Jeremy? Uh, I was really uh, proud of what everyone did on the uh, the 200th episode. <laughs> From the top to bottom, the whole uh, cast, crew, the writers, everyone really uh, embraced it and had a lot of fun. Yeah. Bobby Thompson, who wrote that episode. 
I'm going to second that, and it brings up another funny point. The other day, uh, my wife and I, I, I got off work early, so we turned the TV on, the kids were in bed, and the Saved by the Bell movie was on, and there was a scene between two people that had both played Dean, and one was a girl. Because <laughs> it was Dean, young Dean and Dean from the turn of episode. Yeah, uh, people have both played Dean because they, they were playing Tiffany and Bethesda and Zachary Martin. Is that the shot as a sight by the Bellman? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to see what that 200th episode. Uh, yeah, 200 is certainly a hard one to, uh, to deny. That, that, was, that was a pretty spectacular episode, I think. Um, I, I will say, um, and Simple, the, the simple fact that I was so close to it was the one that I directed last year, uh, which was when Demon Dean gets cured, uh, and then also, but gets loose and starts chasing Sam around the bunker uh, with uh, with nothing but a hammer, and, and that was that was just a really that that cat and mouse chase was really fun uh, to be a part of, and, and again I was so kind of focused on that uh, episode as a as a whole that. Uh, still kind of has a special place in my heart. Uh, the 200th was my uh, favorite in spite of the fact that it had a glaring omission. <laughs> hey, was, yeah, Mark, Mark Shepard wasn't in it. Uh, <laughs> other than that, I loved it. I liked, I liked your episode too. We got, I got, you, you were kind enough to stick Max in as my minion, which is right. like a cool scene. But uh, yeah, a lot of fun. That was a great, that was a lot of fun, man. You did a good job. I would say the tournament as well, and then also just every season what Jeremy does with the premiere, I'm always really impressed by because to reset things and to you know start things off and start you know start the fuse burning essentially is really difficult. I think he does it very well every year, and I'm, my contract is up at the end of this year. I just want that out there as well. Um, full disclosure. You know, just full disclosure, so everybody knows where that's coming. From. I thought you said you were the smartest man in the writers' room. Yeah. Okay. It's, the bar is low, Mark. The bar is low. <laughs> Um, so this is, this is this the moment, yeah. painful moment, it's our last question. Our last question. Our last question. Okay. So here we go. Hi guys. Hi. I'm too short. Um, <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> First of all, I want to apologize to Misha, because I think I made you trip when you were jogging. Uh, <laughs> you when he was dumb. Thank you. It was probably just him. My it's really question. funny to watch him run, right? <laughs> Um, during the script, have you ever personally disagreed with the actions of your character? And how what did you do to kind of go like, over, get over it and act? <laughs> get over it. <laughs> uh, very often. Again, I'll, I'll go back to a, a question or an answer I, I said earlier about I'm excited. I remember one time I had a scene when I was in high school, and I didn't like what the character was doing. Um, and I had an older actor who had studied with my teacher, and he'd come back, he was in, like, I think he was in Juilliard or something, and he'd come back and he'd say, just because your character is saying he likes an apple, doesn't mean you like apples, you know? Or you like, your character likes steak, even though you're a vegetarian. That's one of the joys of acting, is getting to explore these parts of humanity or these parts of existence that you never would have. So. It's, it's taught me a lot about myself by being forced to do something that I never would have done, and that's kind of the way, um, uh, it's, it's one of the ways I learned about myself. I wanted to say something also. This is so touching and humbling and honoring. I, I feel so... There, there aren't, there, I, 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 I'm not Jeremy or Andrew. I don't have the proper words to say thank you or how humbled and honored I am and excited I am. And keep it up, guys. Thank you all so much. It really is amazing. It's an amazing show. It's amazing it's been on for so long. And, you know, this fandom is unbelievable. It's such a family. And, and seeing these and seeing the lights, it really is. It's, it's really touching to be up here and be a part of this. So. Um, well, what a great panel, hey Rich? Unbelievable, I had a great time, Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any, any parting thoughts, gentlemen, before we uh, remove ourselves from the stage? Anything? Any thoughts? Any other final comments? Uh, I'd just like to say thanks to the hamster for being here. Uh, 
you know, it's always, uh, it's, it's always nice to, to have uh, cast members come back to the show. Jaybird, I appreciate it so much. <laughs> you were so nice, you brought me into your enormous trailer. We had an ice cold one. We bought it over all kinds of things. The ladies, cars, you're a good egg. Thanks for being so welcoming to a simple household. You're welcome. Um, no, I, I, I'll just say, I want to say thanks to you guys, too. I mean, we come, we, we've been doing this for uh, a number of years now, and it, 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 never, it, it never ceases to amaze, uh, not just me, everybody. We, we're, we really are um, a family here that enjoys extending, or, or being here with our extended family. Uh, you guys are awesome, and, and thanks, for, thanks for continuing to, to watch and support and inspire us to do what we do. The gratitude you feel towards us, we feel back towards you. We don't exist without you guys. So, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Carver, Andrew Dow, Mark A. Shepard, Ethan Collins, Vincent Ackles, and Mr. Jared Pedalanti. And hey, why not watch the panel again? Click to the left to see part one of the Supernatural panel or click to the right to see my one-on-one -on -one interviews with the whole cast where they reveal what has to happen in season 11.